Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3. It's been a little bit of time again, and I've done quite a bit of work since the last episode. Or at least I'd like to think I did. Um, so, let's have a look at what I did. Uh, with this magical crop stuff, or mystical agriculture as it's now called, stupid stuff, um, I've been grinding here for a long time, I made a vacuum hopper here, uh, it will automatically pick up drops, that allows me to AFK here for as long as I want to with a watering can, and get a whole bunch of stuff, and it goes to here. I was hoping that after a few hours of AFKing I would have filled up all these small crates, which are, by the way, very big, but it didn't even fill up this one chest, so I'm kind of disappointed there, but nonetheless, I got enough for, to do what I want to do, which is make four of these Insanium Essence, to then make the Master Infusion Crystal. However, I ran into a problem here. I thought that this was, this Man Infused chart was from Botania, which is literally just putting a flint into some mana, but apparently that's not a thing anymore. And this Lordcraft stuff, uh, I don't really understand how it works, so you need this Arc Arcane Forge to make these infused shards. To make an arcane forge you need an arcane crafting table. To make one of those you need book of knowledge and a crafting table. And to make the book of knowledge you need the simple crystals which I also then use in some other stuff that you do in this Lordcraft mod. But you can't make these simple crystals in any way. You, you can't do them. The only way to do it is through an arcane forge. But to make the arcane forge you need the crystals, so I don't know how to do it. I'll, I guess I'll have to research it a bit, but yeah, I did a lot of work here. Um, I I think I used this Inferium Essence to craft over 11,000 times, so that's like a lot. And the next big thing that I did was automate my sifting. I finally figured out how to do the automatic sifting here. Um, I think I need some more of these water wheels to make this faster, but I have automatic sifting here, and the way this works is you put use a hopper or an item duct of some sort to go into the auto sifter block. Uh, I have a storage crate here uh, for putting like gravel and all that stuff in there, and then what I have is you can't have an output from these, so it just all pops out. So I have another. Vacuum chest here, that picks it all up, goes into this chest, and that's what I have so far. I've like smelted a lot of the iron and gold that I've gotten from this already. Um, it's all here, which I should probably deal with, but I'll do that at a later point. Uh, and yeah, that's about all of the progress I've made. Um, I wasn't sure what to do in this episode, but Having a look at these uh, quest branches, I figured I should maybe try to focus on some of these things, but I don't really feel like it. Also, these seed reprocessor is really useful. Uh, I'll get onto that in just a second. Let me just claim all of this stuff first, though. I've been waiting to do that. Um, yeah, so the seed reprocessor. You put in a seed, uh, like I have a lot of these seeds which you get from just harvesting crops sometimes. Sometimes you get a seed, sometimes you don't. Uh, and what you do is you put that in there and it will give back however many uh, of these inferior essences you would have gotten from harvesting the crop, which is like really useful. Uh, and this is only tier 5, I can go to tier 6 as well but I'm not gonna be doing that anytime soon I didn't think, or at least not until I have the Master Infusion Crystal sorted out, um, because that's kind of my priority right now. Uh, right, where can I put this stuff? There we go. Right, I have almost four stacks of this stuff, I wonder what I can do with that. Let's look at the rewards. Um, nope. We don't need a dungeon locator, do we? You see, I don't th see a need for any of this stuff. Wait, what's this levitation totem? Okay, um... 
I think the swords might be useful. They are, like, that's looting of three. That's pretty good. And it has auto smelt, so it automatically cooks anything you kill. Um, but that needs a lot of blaze rods, and I'm not bothered with that, you know? You know I, I'm just going to leave my reward points until, like, when I'm bothered enough to do something about them. But yeah, uh, don't know if I talked about this yet, but this has been producing quite a bit of stuff. Uh, I've been manually taking some stuff out of here, putting loot bags in here. Um, got quite a bit of stuff here already. Uh, probably need to start sorting this. Something I really need to do is start getting my infrastructure ready. Um, everything is a mess here currently. As you can see, everything is all over the place. Um, I need to sort this out. I need to move it in some direction by 20 or 30 blocks. 20 if in that direction, uh, 30 if in that, I think. That would do the trick. Um, or just 13 both. Anyway, yeah, I need to sort this out. I need to make proper locations for every little uh, machine that I have and types of machinery. So like a blast furnace would be next to the coke oven. Yeah. I think, I think those are the names of them. But yeah, like they would be organized together and I need some kind of storage system because currently all I have for my main storage is these three double chests. And while this one is sorted, the rest are not. Um, so yeah, I, I would like to get into that. However, that storage stuff is all the way down that row here. And this is very complicated stuff. It will take a lot of resources, so we cannot do this. We need to set up the infrastructure first. I can totally speak today. Whew, I've been talking for a little bit of time here. Um, yeah, need to set up the infrastructure. I'm gonna try to think of something to do and focus on today. I, I was thinking of building and moving all the stuff, but I really don't want to do that right now because I've already grinded for like ages and building is as bad as grinding for me really. Uh, power setups is something else that we need to try to get hold of. Um, all right, yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, I'll be back to you guys as soon as I have a plan. Okay, so I was just looking through this branch over here and I finally figured out where you need to start to unlock this uh, Ender IO stuff. This one, mob farming. Mob farming. This one is supposed to be supposedly really easy, but I have no idea where to find an ancient golem, or how to kill it, or how strong it is, and how much it will kill me. So I guess that's what I'll quickly research. I guess. Yeah. Speak language. Yes. Okay, so I did some research, and again, this is not very clear of how you do stuff. To make these bricks, which you need to then make these blocks and this thing, to make the golem, you first need an alchemy tablet. But to make these, you need one already. Perfect sense, yes, I know. I actually don't understand what to do here. Okay, so I have just did a bit of research and what we need to do is go to this hunting dimension, which is really easy to do, I think. Um, if the recipe is the same as it is in Kappa mode, which is a video I was watching this on, then uh, the recipe is really easy. Ooh, we got a bunch of stuff there. Let me just sort this. Um, Right, do I have any arrows anywhere? No arrows, really. Really? Okay, that's actually really surprising to me. Do we not have any arrows whatsoever? Oh boy. I just wanted to check what the recipe is. 
yeah, arrow and logs around it. Oh boy. Um, I need four arrows to get the quest done there. But three minimum to make the portal. And I haven't got any. Uh, I don't think skeletons drop them in this mob farm, so that's rather unfortunate for me because I have no feathers. At least I don't think I do. Um, well, let me check. None there. Maybe. Maybe. No. And I didn't expect anything there either. Alright, I guess I, that's my next goal then. Get some arrows. <laughs> I did not expect this one. And just like that, we have arrows. So, we can now make this portal. Okay. Quest. There we go. Um, now, I don't know what to expect in this dimension. All I know is that I have no armor, and I'm not willing to wear my, uh... Oh boy, I did that. Somehow... What did I do? I did not know you can do it there. Oh, that's... that's very useful. Um, right, yep. Yeah. All I know is I'm not wearing my good armor here, because I don't want to have to repair it. Um, to then progress with the quest line on it, so I'm thinking... I might be able to get away with no armor. Hopefully, can I get rid of this? I think I will. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Just like so. Harvest all this. Another great thing about this is it will automatically put it away for me, so I don't need to even collect it. I can just right click on everything and it's good. Right. Let's put this portal right here, I guess. And let me put the torch there. Okay. Uh, we need a sword. Right. Can you even make swords in this? Yes, you can. Good. Throw that way. Um, right, I'm going to be using the mattock most of the time, I think. Okay, here we go, here we go. Really don't know how bad it will be. But you can go through the portal as quickly as you can press shift, so I guess that's okay. Uh, I also have a good food source. Uh, let me get that food source out, actually. Right. Whoa! Oh, we have villagers in this. Oh my god, that is the mo Oh, there's charged creepers as well. Um, I see a golem. I love this crossbow, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, wow. Missed at pl point blank range. Oh, crap. I should have made a shield. Right. Wow. <gasps> no. Didn't count. Right. Good food source. It's gonna be useful here. Uh this place is filled with mobs. They're kind of blind though. I mean they're not blind, they just take a little while to see me, but still. Right, I need to find another stupid thing. Um, let me light up the area around my uh, portal here. I know mobs can still go here, but at least they won't be spawning directly at my portal. It'll be a bit safer. Oh boy. And I guess we're just going to run away now. I 
How many does this replenish for? Okay, I'll just keep running. Um, let me cut until I get to another golem. That that golem was rare, and I can't believe Krupa blew it up because I missed one shot on it. We got another one here. Okay. Uh, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I am taking a lot of damage here. Yes! And we got the bricks! Oh, that's where you get the bricks from then, more props. Oh my god, that is... I understand now. Okay, let's get out of there. Yeah. We've just unlocked so many branches, like, you will not believe. That makes a zombie sound. I did not like that. Boy! Um... Okay, that's, that was very useful. Um, that was incredibly useful. Uh, let me just get the reward for that. Um, let's see what we've unlocked. We've unlocked this. Um, we've unlocked this. Um, we unlocked this. I think we also unlocked this. And... That's all the immediate ones that we really care about. But yeah, that was incredibly useful. So now I can uh, get on with this stuff. What's an ender ingot? Oh, I have to know. Why is it from Thermal Expansion? Ender ingot. I think it's this one. Um. It's not very useful. We need to go to the end to get that. Okay. Um, let me let me think some stuff through now. All right. So I have had some thought about what I need to be doing here, and I had a look around some quests, and I looked around the base, and I've decided that what we need the most is a good storage system for all of our stuff because if we don't have our stuff sorted we don't have a good infrastructure to then work on anything else because we have nowhere to store anything and we it, it just makes it harder to know if we actually have anything to work on stuff so I had a quick look at row here um, the branch row and I had a look at how expensive it is to do some of these things and I've decided that we should probably start working on an ME system uh, I'm probably not going to do it today but I'm going to have a start on it so I've got some Surtis Quartz I don't think it's going to be too painful to get all the stuff we need because we have the auto sifting set up now and that literally takes no power at all and we have solar panels which I think are sufficient power to run an ME system so that's all good, but we're gonna want to look into power once we get the ME system up and running. Which should be easier because we'll have everything organized for us. And then I can start building my stuff based around the system. The ME system is going to be the heart of the base. It always is. In every case. Okay, he just spawned. Um, cool. This bow sucks. I'm gonna need to make a better bow out of magical wood and then upgrade the crap out of it and then upgrade it to manilum or whatever it's called and do the same for my other tools as well um anyway yeah so let's have a look at these quests here i'm gonna claim that um we need to get uh, just the flux dust but to get that we also need a flux crystal how do you make a flux crystal i wonder because i haven't done this mod in ages Nether water and redstone. Oh, nether quartz. Sorry, same thing really. Um, do we have? We have a bit of redstone. In that. We have one piece of redstone. Okay, I'm going to, need to sift a lot of dust. Oh, we have. We can go to the nether to get some from there as well. But yeah, I'm going to, need to sift a lot of dust. Right. Charge to those courts. This stuff. Right, and I think we need a fair bit of it. I think I'm probably looking to get a bound of stack of this, and that should be enough for 
the foreseeable future. Um, okay, another quartz. And let's throw them in here, I guess. Nice. We get two. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Uh, claim that. Crystal growth acceleration. Uh, I think we need to do this. Um, I hope this is not too hard because this will be important. Uh, growth accelerator. ME glass cable. How do we... Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, two of these, yeah, makes four. Quartz fiber, that, that's really easy to do. So we have all the infrastructure set up to do it. It's just going to be a tiny bit grindy in the start to set it all up in the first place. But then after that, it should it should really pay off. So I think this is what we should be focusing on. Um, let's see, what other stuff do we have? Uh, I need to make Fluix dust which is then what unlocks all of this useful stuff uh, over here um, all of this is very important as well however um, and yeah so once I get this set up probably in the next episode we'll do most of the focusing on it I'll probably tear, every, tear everything down move all the machinery underground have some nice centralized system here where I can access everything. Move that, of course, and fix it, probably off camera. Move these to somewhere else. Just move everything, really. Just complete makeover here with the ME system being the center of everything, controlling the whole island. And then we're going to be good. We're going to be good. Um, right, so. We need a grinder thingy uh what's this charger this is this makes the charged stuff i think um charger there it is that needs two i think we should probably make this i don't actually know what it does um That makes charge status quartz, and we need charge status quartz, right? So let's let's actually make this. Um, I don't know if that's enough. I think it is. Yep. Claim that. And next step is just get more of everything. I think. Uh, oh boy, this this one's complicated. Why do you, you don't scroll there? Okay. There's only four. That's alright. That's alright. Um, so this is, we're going to be using these a lot, we're going to be using the press a lot. Um, does this require much energy? Uh, yes, it does require energy, but I don't think much. So uh, let me just place it here. Okay, uh, that's unexpected. I think I need a special energy converter for it. Uh, let's see, is there anything about that? NG Acceptor. Ah, maybe. Huh. Uh, well, we're gonna need all of this stuff here as well. Um... These are a pain. These are such a pain to make. Um, the first thing I want to automate is probably this. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. I think I'm gonna tr sift some more sand and try to get some more crystals, and then we can uh, we can do some other stuff. Actually, no, I I need to get some more redstone. Okay. Either way, I'm gonna do some more sifting here real quick. Okay, so I have made some progress here. I made an NG acceptor and I've been able to charge a crystal now, so I'm very happy with that. I can now 
plop that in there, get some more flux crystals, and then I th should be able to make this ME cable, which I can then use to make the growth accelerator. Um, there's other cables to make. Oh, I didn't. Wait. Okay, I can't make it yet. But yeah, good progress here. Um, made quite a few of these done. Just like so. So yeah, it is now time to end the episode. And I I think I made a fair bit of progress. Uh, I'm happy with what I've done. I've got a chest here for ME2 stuff. ME2? AE2. Yeah, I was close. Okay. And I'm just going to keep this here, I guess, for now. I've sifted some other stuff, and I think this is all done. Yeah. Uh, so I've sifted some other stuff, got some stuff from it. I got quite a bit of redstone from four stacks of sand, or dust even. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And yeah, as I said, for next episode, I'll uh, get a whole bunch of this stuff ready, and then we'll tear everything down and start rebuilding, I guess. So yeah, that's cool. So uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, whatever. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.